you just finished the chapter where you learned how to solve multi-step equations and now you're being asked to solve multi-step inequalities. Let's take a peek at how to do that. So first and foremost, same rules are going to apply. You always need to simplify the left and the right side to the inequality just like you would with an equation. So for this problem, we're going to distribute the 3 to both terms inside of the parentheses. This is going to give us 3x plus 3. So 3 times x makes 3x. 3 times 1 makes 3. Minus 4x gets brought down. And it is greater than or equal to negative 5. I'm still looking at the left side of this inequality, and I realize that there are like terms that need to be combined. So what I'm going to do is combine these like terms here and here. 3x minus 4x is going to give me a negative 1x. Plus 3 gets brought down. And this is all greater than or equal to negative 5. I'm now in what's called a two-step inequality. I'm two steps away from being able to solve this. So I'm going to use inverse operations at this point. Once everything is simplified on the left and the right, we move into inverse operations. Opposite of adding 3 is subtracting 3. That will cancel it out, take 3 away from the other side. And I have negative 1x is greater than or equal to negative 5 minus 3, which takes me to negative 8. My last and final step, what is the inverse of multiplying? I'm going to divide by negative 1. Cancel, divide by negative 1. X, now pay close attention here. Because I divided by a negative, if you need to multiply or divide by a negative when using inverse operations, your symbol will flip. This entire time, the arrow's been pointing to the right. This last and final step, because I divided by a negative, I'm going to flip that sign. My arrow's now pointing to the left, which would this, this would now read as, by the way, negative 8 divided by negative 1 is positive 8. So I would read my final result as x is less than or equal to 8. And then with inequalities, you always want to graph your answer. So I'm going to need a 0. I'm going to need an 8 on a number line. I'm going to do a closed circle, closed because it's or equal to. And I'm going to be going up and to the left. I always teach my students, read the variable first. If, as long as you read the variable first, it will tell you what direction to go. Left for less than, right for greater than. Okay, so this is x is less than or equal to 8. So any number that is less than or equal to, the value of 8 will work in this inequality. There's your first example. Let's take a peek at another example. Here I have variables on both sides. That's what's different from this problem. This problem, the variables were all on the left, and I had to simplify things down into this before I used my inverse operations. Here I have r on the left. I have r on the right. What do I need to do there? Same rule applies. Is the left side simplified? Is the right side simplified? The left is, but the right, I need to distribute this negative 5. So I'm going to distribute negative 5 to both of the terms inside of the parentheses. That's going to give me a negative 5r, and negative 5 times 2 is going to give me a negative 10. Everything gets brought directly down, and you want to have nice, neat math work. Now that I'm here, both left and right side are simplified. That means it's time for me to use my inverse operations. Inverse operations. I'm going to bring all of my variables to one side. So I don't like having an R on the right and an R on the left. Let's just move them all over to the left. Inverse operations. Opposite of negative 5R is positive 5R. That's what will cancel it. Add 5R over here. 5 plus 3 gives me a grand total of 8R plus 6 less than negative 10. Okay, two-step inequality, again, inverse operations, move this over, minus 6, now I have 8, R is less than negative 10, minus 6 is negative 16. Again, over here, we flipped the symbol because I was dividing by a negative. Here, I'm not dividing by a negative, I'm dividing by positive 8 to cancel out. Divide by positive 8, divide by positive 8, 
my sine stays exactly as we see it. R is less than negative 16 divided by positive 8 is negative 2. Circle your result. That is your answer given as an inequality. And here it is as a graph. 0, negative 2. Because I don't have the line underneath here like I did here, we're not saying or equal to. So we do an open circle at negative 2. And R is less than negative 2. Less than would be to the left. All numbers that are less than that value would be to the left on a number line. Okay. An example where variables were only on the left side, but you had to simplify quite a bit before you were able to use inverse operations. And then an example where you had variables on both the left and the right side, you had to simplify everything on the right side before you started to use inverse operations. Okay, These are lengthier ones. They can be much easier, one steps, two steps, but this is the gist of how you would do an inequality. Big key thing is you write out your result as an inequality. You write your result out as a number line. Thank you for watching. Hit subscribe and Good luck on your upcoming test.